And let me show you guys where we are with DPOJs uh, as of right now. So, um, view slideshow. So, as of 9 a.m., um, JCPS had submitted 94 DPOJs overall in all categories. Uh, statewide, there was 477, so almost 500 uh, as of 9 a.m. And just to kind of show you, so in, as this morning, we had almost 20% of all the DPOJ entries uh, across the entire state. Now, uh, just to kind of show you that the that this whole thing is kind of a last minute crunch. Uh, remember, 477 as of 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, as of 4 p.m. today, there were 1,091 statewide, and JCPS had 150 of those. Okay, so we're at about 13.7 percent of all DPOJs submitted are JCPS DPOJs. Uh, so I expect this number to probably get between 1,700 and 2,000 uh, by midnight tonight. Um, because I mean, I was just looking a second ago and I saw several more, um, that weren't there as of 4 PM. So again, this is always a last minute thing. So it'll be interesting to see where we, where we land on that. And I, I think we're going to end up having more schools submit DPOJs this year from JCBS than we had last year. We had about 35 submit last year. Uh, I think we're going to end up with maybe about 40 this year. Uh, so that'd be great. Uh, but that's what the total numbers as of 4 PM today. Uh, 150 from JCPS. Now, what were the most popular categories as of 4 p.m.? So statewide, digital art uh, had 150, about 150 entries, okay, uh, which it always is the most popular, digital art, because uh, it's on, honestly the easiest to, to do because there are lots of different platforms that you can use for that. Uh, logo design had 100, about 130, and so that's kind of that old graphic design category. Um, so uh, it makes sense that that would be there as well. Uh, and then photography, photography, about 120. So those are the most popular categories as of 4 p.m. Least popular, uh, media literacy. Now, this was a category last year that had one entry statewide all of last year. So like last year, there was one entry, um, uh, K through 12. And this year, there are six entries as of 4 p.m. And half of them, three of them are... JCPS schools. So that's awesome that we've got, uh, we're, we're kind of showing out on that category. So, uh, but there's six entries overall. Um, and so there's some opportunity there possibly for next year. Augmented reality. Uh, there are only 11 entries statewide as of 4 PM and five of those were actually six of those were, uh, JCPS schools. So JCPS schools had six of the 11 entries in augmented reality as of 4 PM. And then technical writing, technical writing, uh, only 12 entries uh, statewide as of 4 p.m. So those are the ca categories with a lot of opportunity. Um, and if you got entries uh, to those the, that you haven't submitted yet, then then great. That's awesome. Uh, if you got any entries, uh, submit, please submit those. But yeah, those, uh, those are the least popular categories as of 4 p.m. today. So let's take a look. So what is media literacy awareness when you're thinking about next year? Students produce a collection of at least three samples of media used to promote peer community awareness. Uh, so this could be an example where they made a flyer about maybe fake news or um, a bias uh, in uh, uh, just, you know, bias or media literacy or that kind of thing. Uh, they can make a flyer. They can make do, get like a, a video that plays on the morning announcements, like a like an MP4, and they could also maybe have a um, a website, uh, a Google site. So you have at least three. So think of like like maybe like a poster, uh, a video, and then like a website. That would be that would be a media literacy awareness campaign, an entry. All right, and then augmented reality. This is something that you can do uh, pretty much with, with iPads uh, in JCPS. Uh, so there are different apps you can use to, to do augmented reality. Um, and like I said, we've, we've got about half the entries in that space uh, this year statewide, which is pretty awesome. So, But iPads are pretty much a necessity for this category. And then technical writing, that's just, um, you know, here's an example, uh, create a, how to create a Google document with the table of contents in Google Docs. So step one, step two, step three. So if you got kids that are good at sequencing, um, this would be a good category for them. Uh, I also saw an entry from somebody else out in the state where they had kids typing out directions of how to get to the parent portal in their district 
uh, but they typed it in a different language. So they typed it in Spanish, for example. So that could be something as well. You know, you have your kids, maybe they're ESL, they type um, or ELL uh, out directions uh, on how to do something technical, maybe how to go how to get to Google Classroom in Spanish or how to get to Google Classroom in a different language. Um, those could be technical writing examples as well. So um, lots of opportunity there. Uh, and, and really, it's just it's just about sequencing and putting stuff into steps. And, you know, screenshots are great uh, on this category as well. Uh, just kind of go step one, step two. So those are the three least popular categories. And, and again, when you think about next year, uh, those would be great categories to to enter. All right. So any questions uh, that you may have about uh, this year in doing whoops, I'm not going to stop recording yet, uh, submitting those DPOJs. All right, Sharon, what's your question? So I have a student that submitted a vulnerability report for um, technical writing, but looking at that, it, that doesn't look like what he's done. He's had, he has steps, but they're not numbered. Uh, if it's something they can follow in, in sequential order, um, oh, okay. it could fit. Okay, gotcha. All right, thank yep. you. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Any anything else on DPO? Right, one more one more question on the link. So, mm -hmm. um, I think I remembered you saying at a prior meeting that they can put the reflection on the same paper, and mm -hmm. then or the same document, whatever that is, and then you just put the same link that you put for the original yes. one. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. And and I put all and we put all of those into a folder in our Google Drive that is accessible by anyone with the link. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Make sure it's access accessible with anyone with the link. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Anybody else have questions about DPOJ? Uh, any information on the call for action, the, the new category that you had? Right? Oh, data for action. That, yeah. Good yeah data. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for um, telling me or, or reminding me about that, that, that one. Uh, there's been zero entries on that uh, statewide. Uh, so far as of 4 p.m. So um, it's, it's kind of like media literacy awareness was last year where there's only one entry statewide last year, uh, okay. data for action. There was, there's been one, but I mean, honestly, I didn't see, it said that there were certain sources you were supposed to use and all this. Yeah. Kind of stuff. I didn't really get this. I mean, I don't know if they were really clear on that one. I, uh, we did it as a class. Um, I have yet to submit that. We put all the data in. We had discussions on Padlet and stuff. And I don't know if I should just add them in. Um, we did it on uh, the first. The first section is where we do it in class, and once they approve it, then we go there and present it. Oh, okay. That's how it was. But I love the category. I mean, uh, just for my own school to see the data of students and everything, it was really eye-opening for everyone. So it, it is a good category, but it takes a whole lot of effort to do it in class. So, Yeah, that's a, what I was saying. It was, gonna, it was kind of a, um, a high-effort uh, category. Well, submit it because uh, okay. <laughs> if there's nobody else uh, in it, then you, you pretty much guaranteed yourself a win. Okay. Uh, great. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, anything else about DPOJs? Remember, midnight is the deadline. And the school name, is that supposed to be on any of the documents besides the Google form? It can be. It's not, it, the school name's not a big deal um, uh, to leave that in there. All righty. Okay, good luck, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.